right. insulation test of a uh, core flute which is this plastic stuff I don't know if you're able to see it's corrugated plastic in the middle there very similar to corrugated uh, cardboard there's two flat surfaces and what I've got here is a nice flat disc which I'll connect to one side of my 11,000 volt neon sign transformer I'm going to drive it through the variac so I've got some control over the output voltage I'll keep a good track of the input voltage there and basically the idea here is uh, I'm making a voltage doubler for my friend Betsy um, and I was a bit sick of the caps being all over the show when they're all connected together in the string so I put some tape around them like this and then I thought mm, that might be a bad idea because although each cap only sees about 2000 volts individually the cases are metal and with them all touching each other it means that one of the plates in this one is going to be around 11,000 volts higher potential than the outside plate in this one and with them all connected I think that's just going to be a bad thing so I'm going to make a little box for them and insulate them from each other hence the core flute which I've got a reasonably large sheet of and uh, I think it should be fine for the 2000 volts because once I get them separated the major difference won't be a problem anymore um, but I thought I'd figure out try and find out what voltage it does break down at so let's give it a test Okay, so I think I said this was 11,000 volts in the first part, it's actually 15, and I've worked out that means that for every 16 volts I put in, I get about 1,000 volts out. So, I'll crank this up. And it's about 16 volts there. Not a problem, didn't think it would be. Thirty-two. So this is the two thousand volts nominal that they should be seeing. And again, that's nice. No activity. Now, really, I want to go at least double that to feel safe. So we'll pop up to sixty-four volts in, and that'll be about four thousand volts out. Still nothing. Which is good, just to prove it's live. So we do have voltage there, but it's not getting through. Nice! So let's find out where it does break down. We got to 80. Ninety-six. So that should be about or 6,000 volts. Uh, let's see. I'm starting to hear some corona now. That's at 120. So if we go to 128, that's a nice multiple of 16. Uh, yeah, I can hear it. Uh, it's still no arcing. Well, that's nice. So that's four times the nominal voltage that I'll be giving it. It's about 8,000 volts. Nice and happy there, but nothing through the, the plastic. That makes me happy. Let's give it some more. It's got 160 in. Nothing. 180, still no breakthrough. Two hundred volts in, so that should be getting close to ten K out now. I don't know if the camera's picking up the sound there, it's you definitely get capacitive coupling at this point. But no actual arcing, which is what I'm worried about. And here we go. 240 in. So that's the full 15 kV out. Still not breaking down. Nice. You can see that's uh, through the air. We've got a breakdown at ooh, almost a centimetre. 
it's very sharp edges there so it's um, probably why it's breaking down such so far away but nothing through there and because the variac will pump us up to about what are we getting 252 253 in we'll be, I'll be closer to 16 kV out and it's still not breaking down lovely we found our insulator.